Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that big red button to subscribe and the little bell next to it to get notified whenever I post a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a Wally. No, not the Disney Wally, but a Wally that's a figure skating and if you guys don't know what that is, I'll enter the clip right now. So shout out to whoever asked for this video. Big shout out to Alhena, I hope I'm saying your name right, who requested this video. And let's get started. So it's very important to start with your warm up off ice. So off ice, some things you could do to help your Wally is you could do a hop forward off of one foot, whichever foot you choose and then hop backwards, kind of like doing two half rotations on one foot. And then repeat that on the other foot because you never know which one you're going to like the best. So again, start backwards, hop forward in one place, and then hop backwards again, completing a full rotation with two halves. Then you're going to turn forward and then hop backwards. So you're going to start backwards, turn forwards, and then jump up and land backwards again, all on one foot. And of course, you're going to repeat that on your other foot as well, because again, you can always try which foot to see which one you like better on ice and which one works the best for you. So you're going to turn forward jump up and do a half rotation to land backwards. Never forget to check out. So now we're going to do the same thing we did the last time, just we're going to turn it around. So what we're going to do is we're going to start backwards, jump forwards, and then turn backwards instead of turning forwards and then jumping. And of course you're going to repeat that on the other foot as well. To do a Wally, it's fairly simple. What you're going to do is you're going to start backwards, do a couple of hops, and then just do one full rotation. You want to make sure that you're all the way in tight because this will make it so much easier to get all the way around backwards. And if you can do it off ice, then it'll make it a lot easier to do it on ice. So now comes the fun part, learning how to do a Wally on the ice. So first you're going to go down a line and do those exercises we did off ice. You're going to hop forward and then turn around backwards and glide. So then you're going to turn forwards and hop backwards. It's pretty much the same thing we did off ice, just on the ice. So here's that clip in slow motion again if you couldn't see what I was doing. So if I was to give you guys a tip on this, I would say don't lean forward so much. You wanna keep your back up straight and your air position nice and tight because if you lean forward, since you're landing forward, you're gonna fall forward and if you fall, you're going to get really hurt because going forward and then you're gonna just fall forward which hurts so bad so just be very careful when doing this.
So once you feel that you've mastered doing those exercises on the line, now you can try it out big. What I usually do is I do a couple of crossovers and then I just go down the ice doing those exercises. But again, be very careful while doing these. And here are those two videos again in slow motion. A tip that I could give you guys to help you on your Wally is you want to try and get as tight as you possibly can. I know that I don't get super duper tight on these, but I've been doing Wallies for a couple of years now, and trust me, when I first started learning them, they were all like weird and flopsy and open and they would never work. They were always like forward or quarter cheated and those falls really hurt. And even right now, I'm working on my second foot wally, which isn't perfected yet and I still have to pull in super tight to get that one all the way around. So now is the fun part. We get to try a Wally. Don't worry if you can't get all the way around. Wallies take a lot of practice, trust me. And I might think that they're a little bit harder than regular jumps, because you don't really start on some jumps that are already just backwards and you're jumping and doing a full rotation. But once you get a hang of it, they're super fun and super easy. So, if you can't get it, don't be frustrated. Just keep on working, and I promise you guys, you will have it. So, you're going to definitely start on the line. They're really scary to do out big and super fast on your first try. So, do it slow and do it on the line. And then, once you feel like you've mastered your Wally on the line and you feel pretty good about it, that's when you get to move to the really fun part and doing it really fast and big. I just did like five or six wallies and I ran into the wally. You just like forget you even saw anything. <laughs> okay, anywho, so now we get to move to doing wallies out big, fast, and these are so much fun, guys. I love doing wallies, they're one of my favorite transitioning moves. And once you guys get a hang of them, I trust you guys, like, I guarantee you 100% you're going to love them, unless if you don't, but, like, a lot of people don't like them, and that's totally fine, but it's just my opinion. But anyways, guys, remember and don't do those things I told you not to do, because I want you guys to stay safe while learning your wallies, and trust me, I've felt like I've fallen so many times on these, but the end result is worth it. So, if you don't get it on the first try, again, don't be super frustrated with yourself. Wallies take a lot of practice. Just, like, I can't believe how much practice it takes. But you guys will definitely get it. I hope you guys liked that video. 
I want you guys to comment down below what is your favorite transitioning move in figure skating. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I love you guys. Bye!